It's described as a symphony for your belly. Sounds delicious, right? Getting ready for Valentine's Day. We're bringing in a live chef for a live demo, Chef Bart Hutchinson of Buchert's uh, Saloon on Pennsylvania Avenue in Southeast. Also, the Fight Club sandwich pop-up joins Kelly Collis and Courtney Laughlin and me. Chef, how's it going? Good morning. Morning, morning. How are you? We're great. We're glad to have you with us. I think you are our very first live food demo that we've had here on the show. What could go wrong? Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to talk about the collaboration you have with the National Philharmonic. I love it when chefs put flower, edible flowers in food because you showed that photo. It's just, it's so pretty. But how did how did this come about? Are, are you um, like fine musical arts people at Buchards or how did this happen? Yeah, we have a history of um, pairing up with different arts organizations throughout the district. I think what we do as chefs uh, and what we do here at Buchards ties in really closely with what say an actor does or what a musician does. Um, and so it's like a, actually a really natural pairing. Uh, and furthermore, like what goes better than like dinner and the show, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and start this dish while we're talking, if you don't mind. Yeah, sounds great. So what's the dish we're making? So today we're making winter squash gnocchi. Ooh. Mm. with roasted mushrooms and a brown butter sauce. So right now in the pan, I'm just getting some brown butter going. Um, browning butter is a really nice process because we're all familiar with butter, but when you throw it in a pan and let it cook slowly, the butter separates and you get nice little brown bits on the bottom. It gives you a really nutty, earthy flavor. I was wondering that, like as a stupid question. So brown butter is more than just like burned butter, right? It is. If you cook it too fast, it will burn. If you cook it appropriately, the sort of fats will separate from the oil and it'll uh, just enhance that flavor a lot more. Uh, rookie question. Do you do unsalted or salted butter? I always use unsalted because I want to be able to control how much salt is in the dish mm -hmm. from sort of beginning to end. Um, I was taking a look at your menu here. Um, I also appreciate that you're offering optional cocktail package add-ons, but <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> um, what's kind of like your inspiration in terms of like the flavors that you put together to create your food? Is there, has there been somebody even in your life that maybe has inspired you to cook a certain way or to use certain ingredients? Well, it's Valentine's day. Um, <laughs> for me, it's always, it starts and finishes with my mom. Uh, that's just sort of, where cooking sort of begins and ends for me. Um, I was adopted when I was nine and we, her and I had like a hard time sort of getting to know each other. I was kind of shy and she sort of didn't know how to figure it out. Um, and where we sort of found each other was in the kitchen. I was always super interested in cooking and she sort of ran a catering company and always loved doing that work. And so I would get in there and we would make biscuits together or make sausage and gravy together and make these different dishes in her kitchen. And that's sort of how we got to know each other. Um, and so even on this menu, there's an asabuco dish that really is inspired by the one she would make for me when I was a kid. Um, so, so that's sort of where it starts and ends with this menu. But really we started with the music um, and then worked from there. So like the first dish um, is a Spanish arancini. So arancini is a traditional Italian dish. Um, basically you make risotto, throw it in the fridge overnight and then you turn into balls and you fry those balls, so like crispy risotto ball type thing. Um, but the music was um, sort of inspired us to move it in a Spanish direction uh, because it's the first song of the concert is a piece, uh, the first song after the cocktail song is a piece um, that was dedicated to uh, an Italian man who went on to be the king of Spain. So we took an Italian dish, moved in those Spanish flavors, uh, and sort of combine those together. That's incredible. And I just, yeah. I, I love talking this through, right? Cause there's so much thought that goes into something like that. And music yeah. and food have so many parallels with so much complexity, the way that they thought to arrange the music, the way you think to arrange the food. That's exactly right. Um, right now in the pan, we've added our mushrooms. So the butter brown and in that brown butter, we're cooking our mushrooms. And then we threw in our gnocchi. Um, these gnocchi, can you see that? Kind of. So You'll have to walk it up closer to us when you're all done. Let's do it. Oh, all right. So also, he's got the chef hands too. <laughs> Jeff's can just reach into a flaming pan and be like, here, look at this thing I have for you. They, um, they get desensitized over years of doing a mm. lot of that. Um, it looks and sounds so, the, so good. The gnocchi is made, gnocchi is traditionally made with potatoes. 
Um, so this one is made with winter swatch. So we use some butternuts and hubbards uh, and brought that together to make the gnocchi that are actually in the pan. So it's a, a winter squash gnocchi. Chef Bart, can you talk a little bit about, um, like, logistically, how does all this work? Like, how do we do this? How do we sign up for it? When is it? Is the food prepared? Are you preparing it at home? Like, break yeah. it down for us. Yeah. So the the um, concert is on Sunday. If you go to nationalphilharmonic.org, um, you can see the details about the concert and how you'll be able to stream it. And then also where you'll be able to pick up the food. So I'm making all the food here at Bukert's. Uh, and the folks will be able to pick it up on Sunday at one of two locations here at Bukert's or at Potter's um, Violins. Uh, and then what, from there, it'll just be a quick, like, throw it in the oven, get it heated, throw it on a plate, turn on that streaming concert, and you'll be ready to enjoy the show. Wow. And that's a whole other level of, like, idiot-proofing the food for people to do at home, too. That's right? Like, exactly you got to right. add, add all the instructions and all that. Exactly. The instructions will be with it. It's um, I went out of my way to make it as simple as pro as possible. So it's really mm -hmm. just going to be a quick like throw it in the oven. Like it'll already be in a container that's oven safe, so you can actually just throw like take it out of the bag, turn your oven on, preheat it, and throw that whole thing in the oven, and you'll be good to go. I love it. You don't have to do any dishes on Valentine's Day. Not not unless you want to. <laughs> um, is the cocktail um also pre made? <laughs> The cocktail is pre-mixed, yep. And then okay. uh, as well, for folks like some folks, we assume will be tuning in from different parts of the country or maybe different countries altogether. For them on the website, there will be recipe cards that show you how to, if you wanted to go out of your way and make the dishes along with us, they'll be on there as well. Hmm. I love cool. it, Locker. You're, you're on message about the cocktails. <laughs> I'm, I'm reading it right now. Gin, Wait, vermouth, uh, walnut bitters, and orange. Sounds amazing. Are you, are you, you're the boost sound of the group? Is that what we're doing here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> um, I love the Martinez. It's one of my favorite cocktails. We paired it with the with the show. Um, the show's all about comfort. Uh, a lot of the songs are centered around comfort. The food is, we're making yoki. It's obviously centered around comfort. Um, the Martinez cocktail was a cocktail created during the during the gold rush out in California. Um, and back then, they didn't write recipes down as clearly as we do today. Uh, and as a result. If you take the Martinez and you look at sort of its history, when folks in New York learned about the Martinez, California, so they ended up making what we now know as Manhattan. Uh, in other places, they ended up making what we now know as an old fashion. In other places, it's argued that like the Martinez really became the martini. Uh, and so it's one of those cocktails that is super comforting because it really illustrates like everything that we know about cocktails. Like all of our favorite ones sort of started with this one. That's why we were really excited to do it with this menu. Wow. Also, we kind of like glazed over this in the beginning. The story about you being adopted and your mom and you like coming together over food is like the most damn adorable thing I've heard all week. Maybe all month, maybe maybe all year, or maybe in a very long time. That's inc thank you for sharing that with us. That's inc that's just so like talk about comfort and heartwarming. Thank you. I um I'll make sure to send her that number one because she feels like I don't talk about her enough. <laughs> um, but number two, it's, it's everything I know about food, right? Like that's sort of where it starts and ends. Um, and that's, that's the entire inspiration for all of it. Wow. Hmm. We've got a Facebook comment too. Mallory says, you're fantastic. Chills. <laughs> Thanks <Aww>. Mallory. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> don't do it don't do it Tommy don't do it don't do it um so chef I have a question about like the logistics of how you do this so are you cooking all of these meals on Sunday and this weekend and are they already have you already prepared the foods so you start prep you start preparation on stuff like this really early um you know if I'm gonna make a hundred orders of gnocchi uh you can't sort of do it the second that someone shows up, start to finish. Right. Um, because that, that means you walk into a restaurant, order food, and then two hours later you would get it. Um, so this week we've been doing things like hand rolling the actual gnocchi, um, ordering the mushrooms and cleaning them, you know, so like trimming yeah. off the stems and stuff like that. Uh, the lamb just got in, so we put it in a brine overnight to give it more flavor, things like that. And then the food will actually get sort of finished, so to speak, on Sunday and then right into those containers. So that's really just as fresh as possible so that when people throw in the oven, it's, it's, um, 
as close as we can get to eating together in a proper restaurant with a proper concert uh, during this stressful, weird time. So after your brining stuff for days and chopping mushrooms and like bringing lamb in early, what are you making for your Valentine? Uh, <laughs> um, I will see her at about midnight on Sunday because I'll be doing this all day. Um, Noki and mushrooms. Yeah. So like, and I'll, and I'll, and I'll probably be making ice cream out of the freezer. Uh, you know, maybe give it some toppings and uh, no, she'll be asleep. Um, so we, we celebrated... Um, on Wednesday this week. That was the last sort of day that I took off. Hmm. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Your dish is already already. Oh my goodness. Let's see. We're it. ready. We're ready. So wow. we got winter squash gnocchi uh, with roasted mushrooms, a brown butter, white wine sauce, and some fennel breadcrumbs. Oh my gosh, Chef, that looks amazing. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. And and it's important too to support local restaurants. Like you're doing this great promotion, but yeah. to support local restaurants even beyond this. So um, how can people just find you? and Buchards, and how can they support you and Buchards and Fight Club beyond this weekend? Thank you. So we're doing a concept called Fight Club right now. We're making um, really, uh, really good sandwiches as well as bottled cocktails and punches. And there you, you go, can find us at, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sold. <laughs> you, can, uh, you can find us at fightclubdc.com. And uh, we're here seven days a week. You can order for pickup or delivery. Um, we also have a few outdoor dining seats right now. Very nice. Very nice. And yeah. things are, I mean, it's all relative, right? But things are going all right for you guys at, at Buchert's? Things are going well. I mean, I'll say for the entire restaurant industry as a whole, things are not uh, great right now. Um, mm. All of a sudden, what we do was just not a possibility um, without putting people in danger. Um, we've gone out of our way to be extra safe. I think we've, uh, we've never picked up indoor dining since the beginning of this thing. We just don't like the risk. Um, despite all that, I think the community has been super supportive um, and we've been able to stay here and we've been able to keep cooking and making all this great food for you guys, which we're super grateful for. That's awesome. And I just want to show everyone, we have some stock video of the food from Fight Club. I mean, holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. It just looks so damn good. So uh, check that out. Order up Buchards uh, for the Philharmonic collaboration for this weekend, but support them and support Fight Club. And please, please, please uh, support all of our local restaurants. Chef Bart, you're welcome anytime, man. This was great. I appreciate it. Hey, Tom, thanks for taking the risk on me. I had a good time, and um, I'll see you guys on Sunday.